Hey what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction horror comedy film, Tammy and the T-Rex. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a school cheering squad practicing their routine. Tammy, along with her teammates, are graciously nailing the dance steps. After a while, Tammy's boyfriend, Michael, comes into the gym to watch them perform. After the routine, Tammy approaches her boyfriend and greets him with a kiss. To attend the class, the couple walks their way outside the gym. As they go out, they are greeted by Tammy's best friend, named Lady Bro. Lady Bro approves of Michael as his bestie's new boyfriend. While walking, Tammy returns the flower that her boyfriend gave to him. Tammy is scared that if her ex-boyfriend finds out about Michael, he will be in grave danger. Having no choice, Michael takes back the flower and jokingly bites its petals. Not long after, Tammy's ex-boyfriend, Bully, comes into the scene along with his gang. Bully rushes to Michael and starts pushing him around. However, Michael is not scared and starts fighting back. As a reaction, Michael goes mad, saying that he should not be afraid of Bully. After a while, Bully punches Michael in the face, making him dizzy. As Michael is about to touch the ground, Bully kicks his face. To fight back, Michael tackles Bully in the stomach to make him fall down. The both of them continue to fight, and as Michael is finally taking the lead, Bully grabs his rolling balls, making him scream in so much pain. Meanwhile, the audience is enjoying the fight as they watch. To make the fight a fair battle, Michael grabs Bully's balls back. They both scream in agony while holding each other's smelly balls. Both of them separate when the police come and stop the fight. After the fight, Michael is seen as the one with the upper hand. Bully promises that he will kill Michael someday as revenge. In the next scene, a figure of mechanical T-Rex flashes. The doctor and his assistant turn the lights on to see the magnificent creature. The figure starts moving as someone upstairs controls the figure. To test the power of the T-Rex, they try to make the figure lift a heavy object. However, the T-Rex throws the barbell toward the doctor, making him startled. Moreover, they make the dinosaur bite wood to test its jaw strength. Not long after biting it, the wood crushes. The doctor is perplexed about his creature's power. He promises that he will give the T-Rex its own brain and immortality. The doctor laughs hysterically while the T-Rex growls. Michael receives a phone call from his girlfriend. Tammy apologizes for her attitude earlier in the day. She also invites Michael over to her house for them to spend time together. Michael quickly stands up and prepares himself on the way of his girlfriend's house. As soon as he reaches the house, he carefully climbs the trellis to sneak his hormone way to Tammy's room. While climbing, the girls from school see Michael. The blonde girl says that he will call Bully to make a commotion. After climbing, the couple starts tongue massaging each other passionately. Not long after, Tammy's father notices that Bully and his gang come into their house. Bully starts forcing his way to the house as he breaks into the door, ignoring Tammy's parents. Hearing the noise, Michael escapes through the window, but Bully and his gang find Michael's jacket. Upon seeing Michael trying to escape, the gang starts hunting him. Michael starts running as fast as possible to save himself, while the gang chases him with cars. Outspeeding Michael, Bully takes his baseball bat and uses it to hit Michael. While cornered, the gang takes Michael and puts him inside the trunk. The gang trespasses their way to the wild animal park. As soon as they see a lion, they stop the car and get Michael out of the trunk. Bully and his gang then leave the area, leaving Michael in danger in the presence of wild animals. Not long after standing up, Michael realizes that he's in danger. A lion quickly approaches him for a sex mate, so he runs his smelly ass away for his life. To get away from the lion, he climbs up a tree. However, he sees a panther chilling its hormones on the tree, leaving him with no choice but to get down. The lion rushes to him and starts biting his arm. Before being mauled to death, a person comes and shoots the lion to save him. Tammy and Lady Bro rush to the hospital to check the situation of Michael. While caring for Michael, Bully comes into the room. Angry, Tammy wants her ex-boyfriend out of the room. Bully refuses to go out, saying that she belongs to him. Clearly mad, Bully slaps Tammy's face. To fight back, Tammy kicks him right in his rolling balls. While limping in pain, Bully leads with his sidekick. The doctor and his assistant quickly come to the scene. The doctor introduces himself and says that he will help Michael. After a while, a machine starts alarming and the doctor declares a lie that Michael's heart has stopped and he's now dead. Michael suddenly wakes up from his coma, but one of the doctor's assistants injects a sedative medicine into him, making him faint once again. While Tammy and Lady Bro faint, the assistant takes Michael's body away. However, Michael quickly rises again. The lady assistant punches him in the face to knock him out. After going to the warehouse, the doctor quickly cuts open Michael's head to take his brain. He takes the saw and starts drilling through Michael's skull. The doctor carefully takes out the brain to implant it on the T-Rex. Before implanting it, they test if the brain will control the T-Rex's movements and nerves. After a successful demonstration, they plan to conduct the lobotomy first thing in the morning. 
While the nerd assistant fixes Michael's dead body, the T-Rex, with Michael's brain inside, sees his dead body. The T-Rex gets angry and bites the nerd assistant's bowling head, chopping it off. The T-Rex takes a mirror and looks at himself. Michael realizes that he's now turned into an ugly dinosaur. Angry, the T-Rex growls loudly. It walks toward the bodybuilder assistant. The T-Rex kicks the bodybuilder assistant to send him flying like a frisbee. To finish him off, the dinosaur walks over the assistant's body to squash it into mashed potato. Trying to communicate, Michael uses the payphone to call Tammy. However, no one answers. At night, the students start a house party. Tammy is depressed, and Lady Bro talks to her. Suddenly, Bully and his gang join the party. Seeing the presence of her enemies, Tammy leaves the party to be alone. After a while, a loud bang is heard in the area. One of the partygoers thinks that it's an earthquake. Suddenly, the T-Rex slowly walks towards the party house. Bully catches the attention of the T-Rex. To avenge himself, the mechanical dinosaur slashes the body of one gang mate. The T-Rex looks around for Bully. After a while, he sees Bully playing a hormone game with the blonde girl. The T-Rex bites the blonde girl's foot, carrying her. Scared, Bully goes to the crowd to alert the people of the presence of the T-Rex. The whole area is in chaos as they see a massive dinosaur growling at them. Bully goes to one of the party tents to warn the people, but they do not believe his smelly bullshit. Suddenly, the T-Rex comes and bites Bully's bowling head off, ending his bully life. As Bully's bloody head and body fall down, the party people run their limbs away in panic. While looking for more, Michael, the T-Rex, recognizes Tammy's best friend. He helps Lady Bro stand up and pats his shoulders. Lady Bro gives gratitude and runs away. The T-Rex sees more of Bully's gang mates. Two of the gang members hide under their car. To kill them, Michael goes to the car's roof and jumps over it to squash the gang members into sandwiches. Knowing about the commotion, the police come to the scene only to find the gory corpses of the gang members. The sheriff declares that the case is a massacre. Hearing a sound, they see two party people hiding and shivering in fear. The redhead lady says that an ugly dinosaur was behind the massacre. However, the sheriff does not believe her smelly bullshit, possibly because she didn't brush her teeth that morning. Suddenly, Lady Bro comes to the scene and tells his sheriff father about the truth. Still, the sheriff can't still believe that a dinosaur had caused the massacre to happen. Lady Bro insists that a dinosaur was seen, and he described it as big as an elephant. The sheriff asks for more information about the T-Rex. Lady Bro replies that the T-Rex picked him up, dusted his jacket off, and helped him escape. However, the sheriff wants everyone present at the party to be drug tested. In the morning, the doctor and his lady assistant realize the escape of their T-Rex. Instead of feeling worried, the doctor finds it amazing. He describes it as a machine with a brain, feelings, and passion. He says that the experiment will immortalize them, and they will rule the world. As they drag the bodybuilder assistant's body, they make a plan to find their dinosaur back. In the next scene, Tammy feels a vibration in her room, but not from her sex toy. It's actually from Michael, who's on his way to see his human girlfriend. It peeks at the window to see Tammy. While shocked, Tammy screams at the top of her lungs when she sees the giant T-Rex. Her father hears the scream and quickly goes to her room to check the situation. After opening the door, Tammy's parents notice that their daughter goes out the window. In the next scene, Tammy and the T-Rex are seen in a warehouse. As the T-Rex caresses Tammy's smelly hair, Tammy wakes up and looks at the dinosaur. The T-Rex takes a yellow flower and bites it to prove that he's Michael, making his girlfriend remember the time when he gave her flowers. Moreover, he points at Tammy's bracelet, signaling that he was the one that gave it to her. Although the T-Rex is trying his best to communicate that he's her boyfriend, Tammy does not understand his dinosaur language. Somehow, the T-Rex successfully talks about his stolen brain. He points at the bracelet and slowly builds the context. Tammy now knows that the T-Rex is talking about two things, Michael and a brain. After a while, she realizes that the ugly T-Rex has the brain of her boyfriend. After knowing the truth, she cries and hugs the T-Rex. In the next scene, the sheriff is seen investigating the case in Tammy's room. They cannot comprehend how Tammy went out of the window. Tammy's father insists that they should know what happened to their daughter. The sheriff says that it could be the same dinosaur that killed people at the party. After a while, Tammy meets with Lady Bro. Tammy tells a lie to her father that a meteor hit her window and she goes out to check if there's any debris. But Tammy's father is all confused by her ridiculous reasons. Meanwhile, the doctor and his lady assistant spy on the commotion. The doctor explains that Tammy is crucial if they wish to find their T-Rex because Michael is in love with the girl. He says they should know where the hormone bait is if they want to look for a manfish. While enthusiastic, Tammy confides to Lady Bro that Michael is still alive. She explains that the brain of her boyfriend is inside a T-Rex. 
After knowing the information, Lady Bro realizes the reason why the T-Rex did not attack him during the party. After integrating their experiences, they both believe each other's stories. The both of them plan to get Michael's body back. Tammy says that they can get the body during the funeral. While at the funeral, Tammy sees Michael peeking nearby like a peeping dinosaur. Meanwhile, Michael's guardian has an emotional farewell speech. As he talks, the T-Rex starts crying like a giant baby. After a while, the priest ends the prayer. The doctor and his lady assistant are seen at the funeral in hopes of finding the T-Rex. They are excited to get the dinosaur back so that they can immortalize all the humans in the world by giving them machine bodies. After the people have disappeared, Tammy jumps on Michael's coffin to take the body. After opening the coffin and seeing the gory face of Michael's rotten body, the T-Rex, Tammy, and Lady Bro scream in disbelief. Suddenly, the doctor and his lady assistant come into the scene. The doctor strangles Tammy from behind, and the lady assistant pushes Lady Bro into the coffin. The doctor says to the T-Rex that he should come back to them, if he doesn't want anything bad to happen to his girlfriend. As Tammy fights back, she forces the doctor to lose his footing, making him fall down. Meanwhile, Tammy and the lady assistant wrestle their muscles. With the help of Lady Bro, the lady assistant also falls down to the coffin. Tammy promises the T-Rex that they will find another good muscular body for him. All of them go on a road trip to find a body inside the morgue. After searching for a while, Lady Bro finds a gorgeous body. Lady Bro concludes that Michael should choose his own body. Tammy dares Lady Bro to bring the gorgeous corpse into the window. But the T-Rex rejects the first four bodies because they are too girly. Suddenly, the doctor and his lady assistant try to escape. The police come and see them, and they ask about the commotion. Meanwhile, Tammy and Lady Bro take the truck and drive away. The police car starts chasing the T-Rex, Tammy, and Lady Bro. The policeman reports to the sheriff about what's happening, and the sheriff joins the chase. Unfortunately, the group finds a dead end when they drive to a nearby river. Because of the force, the T-Rex is stuck in the branches of a tree. At the same time, Lady Bro tries to distract the sheriff and the police. However, the sheriff orders the policeman to seize him. Suddenly, the sheriff and the policeman see Tammy riding on the back of the T-Rex as they both run away. After the escape, the scene quickly transitions to the T-Rex's hideout. The policemen find out about the hideout when they chase Lady Bro sneaking his way into the area. The three of them meet in the hideout and consult each other. Their plan of finding another body is retained. Suddenly, they hear cars just outside the hideout. The sheriff comes and dares the group to surrender. Tammy and Lady Bro come outside the hiding place and wave a white flag using a smelly bra, initiating a surrender. Suddenly, the police sees Tammy and Lady Bro. Angry, the T-Rex comes out and growls loudly. As the police point their gun at the dinosaur, the doctor and his lady assistant come into the scene. The doctor says that they should not damage his creature. Tammy says that everything is the doctor's fault, accusing him of putting her boyfriend's brain in the body of a mechanical T-Rex. The doctor says that he will put a tranquilizer on the T-Rex to make it calm down. However, Lady Bro questions that if the dinosaur is really mechanical, how does a tranquilizer work on its body? The doctor lies, saying that it's a new system. The doctor and his lady assistant approach the T-Rex. As soon as they approach him, the T-Rex bites the entire stomach of the doctor, leaving him all bloody. As it spits the flesh of the doctor in the lady assistant's face, she screams in agony and runs her smelly ass away as fast as she can. All the policemen start shooting the T-Rex, and the mechanical body falls down. Tammy rushes to the T-Rex and says that she loves him so much. In the next scene, Tammy is seen acting all sweet with her parents. Quickly, Tammy goes to her room and starts talking to her video camera. It's revealed that Tammy took Michael's brain, and she hooked it up to her computer, speakers, and video camera. This is a temporary setup, as Tammy continues her plan to find another muscular body for Michael. As the scene gets hotter, the brain hookups spark. The scene completely fades away, as Tammy performs a strip tease for Michael to see. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.